Hi, my name is Jessica McDonald, and I'm the Director of Community for Super Better. Now, you might say because I work for Super Better, of course I'm going to tell you how great it is, but I would like to share a story with you that was my first experience with Super Better. You see, long before I ever worked for the company, I suffered from a massive bone infection. In March of 2010, on my third day of work at a new job, I went to the emergency room in excruciating pain and with this whole side of my face numb. My blood pressure was off the charts and the doctors weren't sure what was wrong with me. They gave me painkiller and told me to follow up with a surgeon and an oral surgeon and an ENT. They didn't even know who to send me to. So I followed up and shortly thereafter I had surgery to remove what should have been a sort of not necessarily common, but not necessarily a really rare type of infection from the bone in my jaw here. And everything should have been fine. Uh, fast forward to December of 2010, and the infection was back. And this time it was deeply embedded in the bone, and the doctors said that I needed to be on IV antibiotics. So they put a pick line in my arm, which is a semi-permanent IV tube. Um, you can't lift more than 10 pounds in, with the arm that the pick line is in. And I started uh, twice a day IV therapy for um, antibiotics. I went through about four or five weeks of this, and then I developed um, a deep vein thrombosis in the arm with the pick line, which is a, um, it can be a side effect of the pick line. And somewhat really, really rarely, I developed also a pulmonary embolism in my lung from the clots there in my arm. I was hospitalized and feeling pretty bad, um, not just physically, but emotionally. I was out of sick time at work. I wasn't eligible for FMLA yet. I thought I was going to get fired. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't know if I was going to get better. And I posted on Facebook about feeling pretty depressed and pretty upset and feeling like I couldn't go on. I just reached my limit for what I could deal with. And a friend of mine linked me to Jane's Ignite talk on Super Better. And as someone who's been a gamer her whole life, I thought, this is it. This is totally what I need to help me get through this. So I started a blog called World of Healthcraft, uh, since I'm a avid World of, War uh, World of Warcraft player. And I invited friends to play with me. And we set up the game according to the rules of the time. This was a very early version of Super Batter. It was before we ever had the online platform or anything. And we started to play. And immediately I felt stronger. I felt more hopeful. I didn't feel so alone. Um, my husband's job requires him to travel for work. So physically I was alone. But I had eight friends playing with me on a blog spread out across the United States. And they were doing things for me that... I had never thought to ask them before, and those things just made me feel amazing. I felt surrounded by people who love me, that they were supporting me, and I had the strength to get through this, and I could kick this infection's butt. I knew it at that point. So I went through a few more months of really difficult times. Um, I had more surgeries. During my last surgery, they removed a significant portion of my jaw, and I, um, my lungs partially collapsed during that surgery, and I had um, my heart went into distress, so it was fairly serious. And still, through that all, we used the mechanics of Super Better to help me deal with these really serious health situations. Um, one great example is before that last surgery, I was really nervous about whether I was going to die on the operating table or if they were going to have to remove my entire jaw or what was going to happen to me. And my friend Aaron gave me the mission of making a list of all the positive outcomes from that surgery. So I did that. And as I was sitting in pre-op, I was reading that list over and over on my BlackBerry. And every time I felt, um, you know, anxious or worried or scared, I would read that list and it made me feel better. So using these really awesome game mechanics of quests and power-ups and bad guys and allies, um, I got through what was literally the worst part of time of my life. Um, so, you know, now it's come full circle a year later. Here I am helping bring Super Better to the world, and I think that um, is truly a remarkable way for this whole thing to end. So my name is Jessica. I'm 30 years old. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I am Super Better.